This is a rescue boat that I decided to build after having a heart-stopping moment when my new hydroplane struck a hidden rock. It's basically designed only to retrieve uh, stranded radio control boats. It consists of two three-inch diameter pipes, uh, foam construction, and a central piece there to add buoyancy. The propulsion is an electrically driven fan here, a high quality one that came out of Taiwan, and it is capable of running forward and reverse directions. Around the back, we have a rudder that provides directional control, unfortunately only in the forward direction. Uh, couldn't make it go in reverse. The side members, as you can see, are held in with butterfly nuts and you can move them in or out as you wish to sort of match the beam of the boat that you're trying to capture. The electronics and so on are all arranged on the top in this black plastic box. And I will, uh, there's a lid, a transparent lid that is used so you can see what's going on inside. If I turn it now, you'll see that I have a battery here. I have a Castle Creations ESC, which is particularly useful because it will go in forward or reverse. There is the receiver, and then obviously there is the rudder for the directional control. I'll now turn the system on and you can see what's working and what doesn't. <laughs> okay. Okay, we've powered on. Turned on the receiver now, the transmitter I mean. And and here we go. So here we have control of the direction seems to work fine and then forward direction here there's a good draft coming out of there I measured the maximum thrust forward as two pounds I had a spring scale and I hung the thing on a piece of string from the ceiling and in reverse The reverse thrust is not as great. The reverse thrust is only about, about half a pound. But that doesn't matter because as you see in the video, it's more than enough to enable it to back up and get in position. Um, and that it really is the whole thing. There's a plastic, transparent plastic cover here, which is good to put down here so you can see the indicator lights of the ESC and also off the receiver and check that everything's working. I'm using a 3600 milliamp hour battery here, which is more than enough to take care of any rescue operations, I think. So, a final look around, and that's what I have. Thank you for watching.